This fact, in my opinion, is a classic number theory fact. It's just mind-boggling how easy one can prove this. Of course, you have to know the trick. On that note, that is why you should subscribe to this channel. You get to see all the tricks that it takes to come up with different proofs. The fact states, given any integer, any positive integer, we can find n composite consecutive numbers, like, you know, 9, 10, 11, 12, four of them, if they were all composite, but they're not. But we can find four. I don't know, fifth. Uh, I don't see four just yet, but the proof will come out with it. And here's the proof. Consider n plus 1 factorial plus 2. That's the first number. n plus 1 factorial plus 3. n plus 1 factorial plus 4. All the way down to n plus 1 factorial plus n plus 1. Now, if you... Now, I claim this is n numbers. Right? If we follow this pattern, the number before would be n plus 1 factorial plus 1. Oh, that's the first number. Ooh, there's a 1 there. This would be the second number. How nice a 2 is there. This will be the third number. Wow, it's counting for us. This is the fourth number. This will be the n plus first number. So there'll be n plus 1 numbers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to take away one of those numbers. So... This is n numbers. Consider this list of n consecutive numbers. I claim absolutely none of them are prime. Now, let's just look at that for a moment. Yeah, oops. You have n plus 1 factorial. Notice that the number being added is always smaller than or equal to n plus 1. So, this number is definitely going to have a factor of 2. Maybe it's 7 factorial. 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 plus 2. Clearly... 2 goes into this number and that, this number of times and 2 goes in this number one time. That is 2 goes in there. n plus 1 factorial plus 3. This number, you know, it's n plus 1 times n times 1 less times 1 less eventually to 4 times 3 times 2 plus 3. Well, 3 goes into this number. It goes into it n plus 1 times n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 all the way down to 4 times 2. And 3 goes into 3 one time. And if you consider n plus 1 factorial plus n plus 1, n plus 1 goes into this number. n plus 1 factorial over n plus 1 plus n plus 1 over n plus 1. That's clearly 1. And this is clearly n factorial. That is, it goes in. I found a number that went into number bigger than 1 that went into each of these. Found a number bigger than 1 that went into each of them. So, let's write this up more formally. You have our n plus 1 factorial 
plus k. Well, this is n plus 1 times n times n minus 1. Eventually, take k plus 1, take k, k minus 1, all the way down to 3 times 2 plus k. Well, k certainly goes into it. Goes into this number, n plus 1. Oh, nice that I wrote it that way. All the way down to k plus 1. The k's cancel. Then you get k minus 1 down to 3 times 2. And k goes into this number one time. So this is a real number. k went into that. And again, note, note that k was less than or equal to n plus 1. Okay. Each and every one of these numbers are less than n or equal to n plus 1. The last one is where you're equal. This implies that this list of n consecutive numbers are all composite. And that's all I wanted to show. That completes this proof. Keep in mind that this was true for any n bigger than 0. So what if n was 1? Let's just look at that one. So we've been having n plus 1 factorial plus 2. Oh, n was bigger than 1. That's what it should say. n is bigger than 1. Sorry. So if n is bigger than 1, that means n is 2. So this would actually be... 2 plus 1 is 3. So you need to have 3 factorial plus 2, and 3 factorial plus 3, and 2 goes into this number, that is 2 divides this number, and 3 divides this number. So I found 2 consecutive composite numbers. Why are they consecutive? We have this number, and then we have n plus 1 factorial, not plus 2, but 3 more. That's why I have the 3 and the 3 factorial there. They all differ by 1. Okay, you add 1 to this number, might as well add it to the 2. So you get the first number, 2 plus 1 is 3. You have the first number, and you want to add one more. So why not add it to the 3? So you're adding 4 instead. Adding 4 is the same as adding 3, which is this number, plus one more. So they're all really consecutive numbers. It's a great proof, in my opinion. If you like proofs like this, subscribe to my channel. See you guys in the next video. Watch and learn.